Hi everyone and welcome to our second episode of Advanced Rifle Handling. In the previous episode, we discussed the first two exercises, which were the quick loading blindfolded exercise and the accuracy exercise. If you want to watch the first episode, please follow the link in the description below. Today we're moving on to exercise number three and number four, the distance exercise and the immediate action exercise. The purpose of the distance exercise is to accurately place three shots at three different distances under time pressure. The three different distances simulates an animal running towards you. Your first target will be at a distance of 12 meters, the second at an eight meter distance, and the third distance will be four meters. On the command fire, you place one shot at each target, starting at 12 meters and ending at four meters. Once the third shot is fired, you rechamber and point at the four meter target but do not fire anymore. Once your finger is off the trigger, the timer will stop. All three shots have to be placed in the designated target area and each scoring ring counts for a certain amount of points. If you hit the black in the middle, it counts for 10 points, for example, whereas the outer scoring ring only counts for five points. You also get points for your timing and the less time you need, the more points that you will get. A lot of people say that the distance exercise is their favorite during advanced rifle handling because it is so satisfying to see three shots placed accurately one after another in a row. Let's move on to our next exercise, the immediate action. The immediate action exercise simulates a miss or hang fire. Without going into too much detail, this malfunction basically means that although you chambered around and pulled the trigger, no shot went off and the round remains in your chamber. It is very important to know exactly how to extract this faulty round from your magazine in order to chamber a new round. To simulate a malfunctioning round, your assessor will load your rifle with three rounds, one of which is a dummy, which will not cause the shot to go off. However, you will not know which order the assessor has placed them. On the command fire, you will start placing your shots into the paper target until you reach the dummy round that causes no shot to go off. Once you reach the dummy round, you cant the rifle 90 degrees to the side and only then do you open the bolt to eject the faulty round. With the faulty round now ejected, you continue the exercise and the required shots. Well done with the first two exercises in our previous episode and the two exercises today. You have already completed four out of the six exercises of the advanced rifle handling. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe.